Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series where I cover a topic in about five minutes. I guess this is kind of a studio session. Uh, Complex Autiste wrote in and asked how my setup was done, and I figured I'll hold the camera up over my head for a minute and then kind of move it around. So hopefully it's not too disorienting, but I'm gonna point out a few things. Uh, up top here, you can see I get a whole bunch of Chase Bliss pedals. Um, when I kind of move things around and plug those in, uh, those are kind of what I use. Got a few more over here. Um, yeah, you can see I got the stream deck, so I actually need to reprogram a bunch of things. I only got a couple buttons programmed, but you can see got some Euro rack, uh, guitar pedals down here. Got the MPC and SP. They're usually like in this spot. Uh, I got a little camera. This is like my phone holder, which is where I can kind of usually adjust where I want the camera set up as best as I can. Um, I did take this desk that I'm using. You can see I, I just took some two by fours and kind of made some uh, mounts. I'm probably going to extend this out a little bit, kind of have it come out and then down just so I have a few more mounting points to be able to mount from and adjust the cameras a little bit better. Um, over on the side, so you get the Waldorf Iridium. I got a Access Virus uh, Dark Star, and as you know, SP MPC. And then usually I got it's not terribly safe, but I'm usually putting my uh, laptop on top of my speaker there so that I can kind of have it up where I can kind of see, make sure that the volume levels and things are working. Um, I'm going to move the camera down and back up a little bit. Um, you can see over here in uh, the right side of my rack here, I've got a Akai S950, a Akai VX90, Akai uh, Z8, and the Akai S1000. And then if I go over here on the side, you'll see um, got a power strip, got the mixer, I've got a uh, patch bay, a sub mixer, the um, eye connectivity uh, for MIDI. And then under that is like a audio interface for the computer. And then b below that's kind of some tube compression and other effects that I have running the microphones through. So uh, just to have it kind of set up the way that I wanted for uh, my voice, um, tweak it from time to time, but it's kind of set where it is anyway. Um, Complex Autiste was asking about how I have kind of the audio routed and the magic really happens in this right here for the patch bay. And the reason is uh, the top row, um, I'll get closer so you can kind of see, I've got labels on these to say for what the different inputs and outputs are. So on the top, those are all outputs for the different audio sources. And that allows me to kind of know really quickly Am I getting something from the Make 2? Am I getting it from the MPC, uh, the Euro rack, different synths? And then the bottom is labeled with the, you see on the left side, it says like RX 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever. The RX is this um, mixer right here. So I have a lot of the audio goes into the mixer and then it goes into the audio interface that the computer connects to. But besides that, I can really patch things pretty quickly. If I want it to go into the mixer, do I want it to go from device input to output? So basically, I just put a patch cable from the top to get the output of a device, and then I patch it to the bottom for the input of the device. And this allows me to, yes, it does potentially in, uh, increase signal uh, noise ratios, or creates like different, like some sometimes staticky effects if I don't have a good connection. I do really need to go back through and rewire everything. But um, honestly, that's the patch base, the biggest magic of making it so that I can just connect what I want to wear when I want it and um, not having, having to hassle with it. I'll probably tear this apart and redo some of the cabling because I've got kind of a cabling nightmare in the back. In fact, I will just move it over and you can kind of see how much of a rat's nest it is back there. Some of the cables are pretty short and not too bad, but I mean, it's power, um, audio, MIDI, and uh, other connections back there. So it's kind of a mess, but uh, you know, on the front side, I wanted to try and keep it as clean as possible and uh, make it work that way. So I hope that helps you guys out. If you're curious about how to kind of patch things around, I would say, Frequently, you don't always even need a mixer. You just need a patch bay. It'll help organize things for you. Have you think about how you're routing a lot easier and not having to be like, oh man, I have this stuff set up in a certain way and I can't uh, use it without having to tear everything apart. It will make your life a lot easier. Anyway, guys, 
I hope that helps you out. Thanks for stopping by. Keep making music. Keep having fun. Remember, if it sounds good, it is good. And peace.